let's talk about Rebel News. What happened to David Menzies? David Menzies has a bit of your spirit in him. He's him and I are pe peas in a pod. You know, <laughs> thank God, yeah. it's just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, but he's he's got he's a character. He's got a sense of humor. He loves pop culture, and he wears that fedora, which most men cannot pull off. Yeah. He encountered our deputy prime minister the other day, which is like your VP. Yeah, of course. And asked her a couple of questions. No big deal. I mean, she could ignore him. But instead, a bunch of her bodyguards jumped him and charged him with assault. Ms. Freeland, how come the IRGC is not a terrorist group? Why is your government supporting Islamo nationalism? What? You didn't get sued. What are you doing? You're under arrest for assault. Why are you pushing me? You're under arrest for assault. You're under arrest for assault. Police. Police, you're under arrest for assault. How am I under arrest? You bumped into me. You pushed into me. I was just scrubbing with you. I've got my credentials here and you just bumped into me. Is that what they actually charged him with? Because I kept seeing the video, I kept seeing everybody sharing it, but they said they charged him with actual assault. He never touched her. He never touched her. One of the body Is verbal assault a charge? What? If you believe the cops, they, they he assaulted the cops. He assaulted the bodyguards. One of the bodyguards ran up into. Uh, it, it was like a a sports. You know, if it's it's like a soccer player faking an injury. One of the bodyguards ran up behind him, was gently brushed by Menzies, and did a flop like a flop. Absolutely. No. And instead of saying, "Oh, I'm hurt," he said, "You assaulted a cop. I'm a cop." They handcuffed him. They slammed him up against the wall. He's 61. Yeah. Two artificial. He's very spry, but he still, he's spry. There, were, there was half a dozen cops on him yeah. immediately. Then they frog marched him to a police car, tell him they're going to charge him with assault. He waits in the car for a while. And then the weirdest part what? is they drive away, but they don't take him to the police station. They just dump him off in some school parking lot and say, find your own way so back. So they didn't charge him, in thank the end, God. They, in the end, they dropped the charge. But oh, thank the whole goodness. thing was on tape. Yeah. It, what, what irked me about him, I mean, the arrest was bad, mm -hmm. but immediately, what, the reason, that video has 15 million views oh, it's in two days. Oh, it's viral, and I think yeah. it, I think I know why. I mean, arresting a journalist for asking a question is not the Canadian way, even under mm -hmm. Trudeau. But then the instantly you saw the cops lying about it, gaslighting him, said, oh, you definitely assaulted him. Oh, you were totally aggressive towards him. And... I don't know if they forgot the camera was rolling, but it, I think it was the lying that made viewers say, what did we just see here? No, that was the most egregious part because the cops are literally acting like they were a victim. Or I got the impression that they were saying that the prime, the uh, deputy prime minister, is that the right yeah. term? Yeah. I thought they were saying that she got assaulted, but they kept on saying, assault, assault. And I'm like, he didn't even touch anybody. He didn't assault anybody. He didn't literally, guys, not, didn't even touch anybody. He kind of held a microphone kind of near a person, but uh, uh, really had her personal space the whole time. She, she never complained. Yeah. She never stopped. She never stopped walking. She never said, help. She didn't say anything. She walked by with a smirk as she saw him being arrested. What, what scares me about that interaction is the cops lied like it was second Like nature. that. Like, like they had done it a hundred times, like they were a tag team. I'll say this lie, you come in with that lie. Don't tell me this is the first time that they stitched a guy up like this. It's probably just the first time it was caught on video. I, I have to say, my, I mean, for most of my life, I was a super pro back the blue guy. Mm -hmm. I just assumed the cops are the good guys. There's a lot of bad guys in the world. What I saw during the pandemic lockdowns in Canada, and then what I've seen in the political shenanigans like this week, I got to say they are testing my pro cop uh, ideology. I, I, I'm becoming more like Michael Malice all the time. Well, Michael's great. I mean, he's a real anarchist. But tell me this. I mean, when you see the trucker lockdown and the trucker protests, I mean, wouldn't you have almost lost, and I know you mentioned that, but wouldn't you almost have lost your faith already after that? I mean, how do, you, how do we gain trust back in the system? You know, everyone can respect the truckers. They're hardworking people. They're Number one job hours. for uh, non-educated college people. I think it's a uh, high school educated. So long hours. And by yeah. the way, what do you do in the truck? You listen to you listen to music, radio, to talk music, radio, yeah. talk radio, podcasts. I think truckers are some of the best informed people out there. They may not be the best formally educated, mm -hmm. but a trucker knows his current events because what else is there to do? They're constantly for, changing you know, the station well, <laughs> or on satellite radio or whatever. Was, yeah. But the reason the truckers protested is because Trudeau ordered them to get the jab. Why? Other than lighthouse keepers, there's no one more solitary than a trucker. Yeah. Why are you doing that to them? And so when these truckers had a big convoy, it was the most peaceful Canadian protest you ever did see. It was just, a, I mean, the, the worst they did was... They were was cooking hot down. dogs, yeah. weren't they? They, they were bouncy I mean, castles <laughs> and hot tubs. It was minus 20. It was so cold. Oh, my God. Yeah. Trudeau invoked uh, 
the Emergencies Act, which is a kind of martial law, wasn't even invoked during 9-11. He put oh. the country under martial law. He seized hundreds of these truckers' bank accounts. He threw people in jail. For, in one uh, lady who was sort of the leader of the movement, 49 days in jail before trial. Gosh. And, and imagine being a cop, tearing out those... You know, they drummed out a lot of the good cops because they brought in the jab mandate. And a lot of cops said, you know what? I don't want that. I don't trust that. I don't need it. I'm a healthy guy. So anyone who was a critical thinker, a contrarian, an independent thinker, let's call him a right winger, would have been pushed out of the force because of the jab. Who's left? Conformists, ideologues, nanny states, the, the pro-mask kind of folks. I'm so fly, I'm with the planes. My grind's so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 